Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates and some more exciting footage because in this video I wanted to show off some gameplay with the new legendary Shattered skin for General Grievous. And this is a quite interesting skin as this is the first skin in the game as far as I know that has this kind of VFX on it where it's not just a skin but it's something that kind of generates its own particles which in this case is kind of the smoldering ember you will see coming off his skin which is really cool he doesn't have any new voice lines or voice as far as i know but it seems like they're expanding these legendary skins to sometimes it will include new voice lines sometimes it will instead include these kind of uh, effects um, that makes the skin look more interesting and this kind of smoldering embers act are actually live generated when you run around also in the victory screens, intro cinematics for heroes vs villains, and so on. So it's really cool to see that whenever all the other skins are completely passive, this skin actually generates these embers flying around Grievous, um, which is definitely something new, and it kind of opens up a new kind of skins for Battlefront 2 that, uh, well, could have more advanced effects, simply put. And when you run around with Grievous, it obviously looks cool as well, because those embers kind of fly behind him. And also, I think this is the first time in canon we get to see General Grievous' brain. Interesting. I don't know. You be the judge. I, I thought that was a bit fun. Actually, I don't know if that's his brain. It could just be like his skull of the Kalish. I mean, I'm not entirely sure exactly of how the Kalish biology works. But uh, we can see a bit of his skull, though, through that broken armor, which I don't think you've seen in canon material before. So it's definitely a very interesting skin and obviously you've got a little bit of his uh, cape dangling behind him uh, as well when you're running around. So personally at first I thought it was going to be new voice effects but instead we got these kind of visual effects which I think is completely fine by me. And uh, yeah this is definitely one of my favorite skins that has been added to the game so far and I definitely think this is cooler than Obi-Wan's robed skin if I'm going to be completely honest. Probably because of how unique it is. But moving on, I also wanted to talk about something that's obviously very important. How does Grievous abilities work? Because both Thrust Search and Unrelenting Advance had some serious issues uh, after release. So that's something I wanted to test out as good as I could here. Obviously, I had a very limited amount of time with him here. But uh, it felt like the most of it was fixed. If we start off with Unrelenting Advance, you can see me use it here a couple of times. And here's kind of an extreme test where I just literally climbed the highest point I could find on Geonosis, aimed straight towards the enemies and used it. And none of the shots actually came through. And it also seems to deal some fairly good damage now as well, as I did get a few kills both in Heroes vs. Villains and in Galactic Assault with it. But again, you can still kill through this, like right here you can see uh, that this uh, Ariel kind of melees me while he dies from the unrelenting advance. I mean, it's not entirely unrealistic to be completely honest, he kind of sacrificed himself to kill me and I had, what, 50 health here? So that's kind of my own fault. But nevertheless, that ability seems to work well. Again, keep in mind, I've only tested this in a limited amount of time, so there might still be bugs that people will notice when they play it in the live game, but I'm just giving you my thoughts of the little gameplay uh, that I have here. And Unrelenting Advance seems to work really well, both damage-wise and deflection-wise. And then we have Thrust Surge. This ability has definitely been improved, but I don't think it's perfect yet. Because a lot of times uh, you do get kind of the lock-on animation with the UI, which has also been improved a little bit to this patch. And he will kind of do this half lunge where he goes halfway through the animation and then stops. I think that's because the enemy moves away, so it kind of makes sense, but it does look a little bit weird. However, it does work a lot better for kind of the quick thrust surges on enemies that are close to you. As I used it so many times to knock down enemies in Heroes vs. Villains and also getting knocked down when I was facing off against Grievous. And that's something that's... Obviously really really good because you can start off with a claw rush to knock them down then follow up with the thrust surge to knock them down again and you might even be able to kill them during those two knockdowns. So thrust surge works I think more like intended now. Whenever there's someone close to you it does seem to hit and I did never notice a time where it looked like the lightsabers went through the enemy and it didn't hit. Sometimes it was actually kind of the opposite as you can see right here on Leia where she wasn't that close to the lightsabers but it still hit her. Um, which I still think is better than the opposite, where you hit through her and nothing actually happens. 
So the Thrust Search definitely has been improved a lot, and I think both Unrelenting Advance and Thrust Search will be worth using now, which is the important thing. But whether or not they're perfect, hard to say from my small amount of testing. Uh, Thrust Search I think could still probably do with a little bit of improvements, because I feel like a lot of times it will still not go through fully with the animation. That might just have to do with the fact that maybe it shouldn't even be triggerable if they're too far away, if it's not gonna work anyways. Uh, but it should only be something for close quarters, because the close quarters fights, where they're very close to you, it did work pretty much all the time. So yeah, overall it feels like Grievous is in a good state, and considering how strong he was before these bug fixes, I'm uh, curious how strong he's gonna be now in, in the game. And I know that by the time this video goes out, they might actually have released the patch notes that includes all of the full changes for General Grievous. I did not have access to those when I made this video, as this is something I made after the event. So there might be other stuff that I haven't talked about in this video, but in that case, check out my patch notes video, which should already be out. This video was mostly just to give you my opinion on how he felt and how the new skin looked. But yeah, I will let you guys enjoy the rest of the Grievous gameplay that I have. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. <laughs> My lightsabers would disagree! You seek a weakness you will not find! Your master really should have taught you not to be so impulsive. The way you have with young Skywalker! Touché. Thank <laughs> you. 